In this video, I am going to demonstrate some of the sh methods in the string class. Um, if you click on the AP Computer Science link here and go to the APCS API, um, you'll see that there's a, which is basically the quick reference, you'll see a list of the methods for the string class, different operations you can perform on a string. So we'll take a look at these, the length, substring, which are basically portions of a string, uh, the index of, and the compare to methods. So let me go back here. I have a little template set up with the, uh, with the scanner that allows me to type in a uh, word. The word I'm going to use to analyze is computer. And I've numbered each of the letters starting with zero, which is how we letter, uh, number the letters in a string starting with zero. Zero through seven, so there are eight characters in total. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to just run this to make sure it all works. Compile it. And I'm going to type in computer. And I typed in computer, so that works. So the first one I'll look at is uh, copy this here. Statement dot length to, to determine the length of a string. Length of string is, and I'll see if I can get the length. So it should be eight because if I numbered them here correctly, there's eight characters. Save it, compile it, and come computer. And the length is 8. Okay, so that works pretty easily. Not too complicated. Uh, the next one is uh, substring. And I'm going to say substring. And there's two versions of it. One version takes in a single integer, as I'm showing right here, and another version takes in two integers. So this is basically basically going to extract a string, a smaller string from a larger one. So I'm going to say three as my argument three, which looks like the letter P. So when I only supply one integer, it's going to take everything from three on, so three to the end. So I'm going to compile this and run it. And computer is the word. And there's P U T E R computer. So we're starting at the third letter. The other version takes two numbers, and I'll say three comma six. So three is there at the P, and six is at the E. All right. So if I save and compile that, computer, it actually did not go to the E. It went to the T. And if you recall, if you recall. 6 looks like the E, so, but it only went to the T. The reason is because of the way the, the uh, method is defined. When you use the to argument version from and to, it's from inclusive and to exclusive. In other words, it takes one off of the number. So when I, hit, when I put in 6 a second ago, it said 2 minus 1, which is 5. So it's exclusive of the last number. Therefore, this really... If you look at the numbers here, it's 3 through 5, which is the word put. So bottom line, you can extract from any start place to any end place, just remembering that the second is non-inclusive. Um, another thing you can do is system.printoutline is results of index of. You can actually go look for a string and see where it begins. So I'll say statement dot index of and I'll say where is put well put looks like to me it starts at element three so this index of returns I think I need one more of these where the what index it begins at what the index of it is compile it and I get there's my window down here computer and the index is three, which where is where it begins. That's the index of put, the starting index, if you want to call it that. And then there's system.out, a very powerful one, result of compare to. And I'm going to say apple. Apple. I'm going to compare apple to computer. So I, I know alphabetically Apple comes before computer. All right, so let's see what the 
result is and compare it to just so you know returns an integer value so let's see what integer value we get uh, I forgot that parenthesis again and I'm gonna run it computer and I get the number two so it looks like the word Apple comes before computer and it actually comes two letters before if you think a we need to go two more letters B and C to get to computer so that number actually means something um, and if I put in here uh, orange orange comes after computer because O comes after C so if I run that I get computer I get minus 12 so orange comes after computer hence the negative and if you count the letters starting with C let's see D E F D E F G H I J K L M N O. That's 12 letters. So it comes 12 letters after the negative sign, again denoting after computer. And probably as you guessed, if they're the same, if I type computer here, then the difference would be zero. Okay. Um, couple other couple other uh, ones that are kind of nice to use result of trim is a trim method I'll explain what that is and we'll also do copy that one and we'll do two lowercase two lowercase which you can probably figure out what that one does what trim does is it removes any uh, beginning or trailing spaces, not anything in between words that I'll show in a second, only before and afterwards. And to lowercase, just returns a lowercase string. So let's take a look at these here. Let's compile, and I'll do make it a little bit different this time. I'll go to, to demonstrate trim. One, two, three spaces, Apple, computer, space, space, space. So I have spaces before and afterwards and one in the middle, okay? And there's some capital letters. So if I run this, I get, you, you can't really tell there's, the trailing has been taken away, but you can tell that the beginning is gone, uh, spaces are gone. And the two lowercase, you can see here, it, uh, made the A and the, or returned the lowercase versions of the A and the C for Apple computer. Um, these are just some methods. If you go to the, Complete Java API, which is there's a link on my website. Uh, this includes every single class that uh, exists, and uh, they always add more. But if I go down to string, which is way down the list here, you get an idea of how many classes there actually are. Um, string, right there. You can take a look at the string, and it gives you a complete spec for the the class and how it works. Um, how to construct strings or make them and all the methods uh, for a string and for instance there's the compare to you can click on that and get an example uh, explanation of how it works there's the um, index of index of and so forth so um, for any application you probably find a class that does the job uh, and you can look here in the API to look at how it works and all the methods you can use. So that's a quick demo on the string class and the methods you can use with strings.